Okay, he, so he's using a drawing tablet, a non-screen drawing tablet. What? No, no, what is... Wait, wait a second, what is this? Hi guys, I'm all welcome back to my art channel. Today we are back with another episode of Illustrator Reacts to Manga Artist's Drawing. Also, this is the Horror Edition. Most of you already know who we are going to talk about, but let me show you some comments that maybe give you a little hint. You need to react something of Junji Ito. You should react to Junji Ito. React to Junji Ito. Junji Ito. When? I would love to watch you react to Junji Ito. 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 Okay, I, 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 I guess you know who we are talking about. I found a really cool documentary. I don't know where the original documentary is from because this seems to be like a re-upload from someone uh, with English subtitles, so that's good for us. The original is in Japanese. We're gonna jump straight in, guys. Okay, I think that's where it's starting to talk about Ito's artwork. There he is, yeah, that's him. And this is also already one of his really typical illustrations. So, and that's just the thing that I've seen that he's doing a lot like, you know, drawing like weird hats with hair and doing like multiple hats stacked to each other. Pretty amazing artwork. And yeah, you know, the line work is like outstanding. I feel like also it looks like, I don't know, but the faces look pretty realistic like for manga art. And when I look at this kind of artwork, it always like feels to me like this is like a typical thing that probably people with nightmares would like describe. So yeah, crazy artwork. Wow, so much detail in every single of his artwork. And look at this. He definitely has a thing with hair um, and the faces are like beautifully drawn. Look at the eyes and like just, there's just a tiny bit of a nose suggested, but not really, just basically these are just two lines, but it looks so crazy realistic. Like if you would, paint this uh that would be a pretty realistic face like the proportions are so spot on i, I really love that and the hair is always so cool look at that wow and and, and, and uh, okay now now we see some of like the the horror pictures oh they filmed him for Four days, so wow, that's crazy cool. Ah, okay, so they recorded the footage um, and now the director probably or like the like commentator of this series is reacting to the footage together and I'm reacting to them reacting to the original footage. Yeah, that's what YouTube has become these days. It's crazy. Oh no, they're meeting in a cat cafe. Like, I wish there would be something like that over here. I think that's that's amazing that you can go to a cafe where it's just like a lot of cats are. You, you just gotta love Japan for that. For that alone, I think. Also, what a beautiful setting for like, speaking about horror manga, like in a cat cafe. Can you imagine that? Look at those cute cats. Oh, I can't. I couldn't handle that, like it's too cute. Oh no, he's also drawing cats. Yeah, okay, so he's a cat lover and uh, has drawn mangas about them. Okay, but since we are here to react to some of the drawings, it, uh, we're gonna skip to see him do some of the drawing stuff. If you want to watch the full documentary, I'm gonna link it down in the description. Oh my god, look at the cat in the background, it's so cool. And now the cat looks like it's it's like interested, interested in this drawings that he did as well. I love, always love seeing those studios and when my little studio over here is done, I'm gonna definitely make a, like a little room tour and show you the, the studio. Okay, that's a pretty interesting workspace. He has something, oh, some of his drawings in the back here and uh, here a computer screen for reference probably uh, and a lot of books like a lot of these manga artists have like, yeah, looks like a cool cozy space to create art. Um, definitely more like an artsy studio with a lot of paint standing around, a lot of like uh, paint splatters and stuff like that. Um, 
yeah, it's always depending if you are that kind of a person that can work in in an environment like that, I always actually have to have everything pretty clean, so I hate it when I draw with paint and everything is like a huge mess, so I, that's why I love digital art that much. And it, it looks pretty spacey to be honest. Um, so, you know, a lot of like manga artists like have these tiny spaces and yeah, obviously he's like doing pretty well, so he doesn't need to be in like a tiny space. Look at the mangas in the background and the books. Okay, now they are reacting to it, and I'm reacting to it as well. Okay, the, the drawing is already done. It looks pretty much perfect. Like, uh, the eyes are like pretty realistic. The noses are just, just a couple of lines. But the ink work is so beautiful. Oh my god, did you see that face? Like... Oh no! Like, the face is just hanging around on like a... A sign or something after a car crash. Oh hell. Uh, that's weird. Uh, but I love this multi angle thing that they record this in. That's something I should do as well. Maybe something from the left and from the top. That looks pretty cool, I feel. The inking is so satisfying. Um, slow and with care. Definitely a, an amazing style. Amazing style. Look at this, it's just one panel in the manga and it's so detailed, super crazy detailed with a lot of shadings, a lot of little lines. Wow. Okay, now he's showing some of his step-by-step -step process where he starts with the sketch. This is like a really rough sketch of the panel. Oh, and then he's using a light table. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Um, not sure if you did the like the first sketch like digitally and printed it out. Ah, is that that's a mechanical pencil? That looks cool though. I've never seen something like that because all I know are like those mechanical pencils. And they look super different. And I think his mechanical pencil is way cooler. Way, way cooler. Oh what is Okay, that's something I've never seen. Wait a second guys, he has like a kneaded eraser and he's sticking the kneaded eraser on like on his fingertip so he can like while he draws he can erase the lines That is freaking interesting guys Actually that's pretty difficult, you should definitely try that out You definitely have to do that a lot until you like master this Well, if you have a kneaded eraser and a pencil laying around somewhere, try that out uh, I think uh, I would ha I need to train this, but it's such a cool technique and it probably saves them a lot of time in the long run, so that's cool. Oh, look at this, he's actually referencing actual anatomy books. Oh, how interesting is that? In the last uh, episode where we reacted to, uh, I don't know which one it was, I think the artist from Black Clover just did hold up the paper to a light so he could check the mirrored image, because if you mirror an image, or a drawing, you will always see the mistakes a lot more than when you just look at it without a mirror. And he is actually using and holding a mirror to check his drawing. Yeah, that looks so cool. Hey, I just can't believe it. We just learned two pretty cool tips like holding an actual mirror and the, the thing with the needed eraser. Definitely have to try that on my own. Sanga. Ah, yeah. Okay, you should definitely do that. I mean, that's a great tip. If you you can really do that in digital art super easily, like by flipping the canvas horizontally. Uh, yeah, and if you want to check for mistakes in your drawing, that's a great technique. Like, but it's always so fun to see people, you know, doing that with traditional art. I think it's super common in digital art to do that, but in traditional art, it's not not so common. Yo, look at this. Look at those pants, like... Oh, they are handmade, so no wonder why I've never seen something... Some of the pants he's using. Whoa! He's making his own drawing pants. Also, it was like a super short pencil, like, seems to be pretty hard to control as well. Well, that's one of the most interesting... What the hell is he doing right now? For ink? Oh, if he has ink on the ruler, he can actually smear it. 
on the top left here. Wow, I think he just has a lot of handmade tools. All these little details in his studio that saves him a lot of time. Wow, what a cool documentary. Awesome stuff. If you actually know who is the original creator or the channel or like television station, I don't know. Maybe there are a lot more of these videos. Okay, he, so he's using a drawing tablet, a non-screen drawing tablet. No, no, what is... Wait, wait a second, what is this? What is this keyboard he's using with the tablet? Can we take a look at homemade keypad? What the hell is this? That looks so weird, guys. I love this guy. He's like having all these homemade things. And this looks actually like he is like using some Sculpey or something like I use for sculptures and putting just different shapes on the keypad so he doesn't have to maybe look at the keys and can feel the different keys. I don't know. That's what I'm assuming, but it definitely looks weird as hell. It was not a non-screen tablet. It was actually a tablet with a drawing screen. Okay, yeah, now we see it. It is a screen tablet, not a non-screen tablet. When you look at like the little details that he just... Wow. You know, can you see like a difference between the left and the right one? Well, I can. He seems to be like the craziest perfectionist, so it's insane. Look at this. It seems like he has something done to his... Ah, it looks like he has actual also some clay on his digital art pencil. It's maybe so that's a bit thicker and easier for him to, to draw. But yeah, that's it for this video. I think it's gonna be the longest episode of Illustrated React, at least the longest reaction to one single artist. Thanks everyone for all of your comments recommending Junji Ito, weird, creepy, horror, manga art. But besides that, we learned a lot of cool little things and you know, I love his studio, like all these little tricks and all these little things to save him time, all these handmade stuff. Like, look at the handmade keyboard, it's like mind-blowing stuff. So, yeah, what a fun episode of Illustrated Reacts. Let me know also down in the comments which artist I should react to next and then I'm gonna take a look at if I can find something on the internet. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe, that would mean the world to me and then I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. See you there. Bye bye.